Today, we're gonna be building a pan fishing tackle kit. Oh, in the dark. Yes, color looks amazing. I'm on. Hi. We're on. We're on. <laughs> it's a good one. Look at that butte right there. We've been chasing this all day long. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're out here and today we're at Academy and we're at Academy for one reason and one reason only. Today we're gonna be building a fishing kit and not just any fishing kit. We have a, uh, a little tackle box right here that I'm about to show you guys. What's inside of this tackle box right now? Wow, I don't even know how that got in there to be honest with you guys. But if you guys wanna pick up some spring apparel or if you wanna pick up this tackle box right here. You guys can use code Logan at GoogleSquad.com and save 10% off of your entire order. But that's not the point. We have the brand new Guggen Squad tackle box right here. And today we're gonna be building a pan fishing tackle kit. And I've actually never done this. I actually don't really do a lot of pan fishing, but you know, with it being springtime, it might be time to uh, some smack some bluegill, some pan fish, all kinds of different species. I feel like there's so many different species that are involved in pan fishing. So today we're gonna hop into Academy and we're gonna go crazy and buy a ton of tackle and fill up this kit right here. And we're gonna go to a new pond and put it to the test and catch some pan fish. But it should be a good time. And if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that button for me. I would really appreciate it. We are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I need you guys' help to reach that goal. So smack that subscribe button. Let's go ahead, hop into Academy let's start buying some lures. All right, so we've made it into Academy. We have the whole entire pan fishing section right here. And today's goal is just to grab whatever looks good. I don't really have a specific bait that I'm going for. We're just gonna walk around, see what looks good, and I'm gonna grab it. It's that simple. And then we're gonna take it, put it in our tackle kit box, whatever you wanna call it, and then we're gonna go out and catch some fish. That's pretty much it for the day. So let's go ahead and start grabbing some stuff off the shelves and uh, seeing what we wanna throw. All right, I think we're gonna start off with the basics. All right, we're gonna grab little tiny hooks. So I know we're gonna be catching some bluegills. I know we're probably gonna use a little bit of live bait but I am gonna use artificial bait too. So we're gonna have kind of the whole spread for the day. So I kind of want to get a tiny hook and some bobbers, the old classic setup. And uh, that'll be our first thing we put in the kit. So let me go ahead and find some really tiny hooks. That's what we're looking for. We'll take those. 199 for 10 hooks, what a deal. Now we need some bobbers. And you know, you can't just get the normal bobbers. The old colorful ones. This brings me back to my childhood. When I used to bluegill fish and pan fish, it was always the colorful ones, so I just got to. I feel like it's a must. And then you know, you you can't just you can't just throw that. I mean you can, but you also, you know, if we're fishing deeper, you're gonna want some little split shot weights. So we're gonna grab a few of those. I guess these would be a decent size. I'd honestly like smaller. It kind of oh here we go. There we go. All right, we got split shots, we got tiny hooks, and we got bobbers. That's the most simple you can get when pan fishing, and it'll all fit in our tackle box, our tackle kit, whatever you want to call it. And uh, now is my favorite time. We get to pick out some artificial lures. I'm a big artificial plastic kind of guy, so that was really loud. But we're going to pick out a few of those to put in our kit, and then we're just going to have the ultimate pan fishing tackle kit. All right, so right here we have a classic for pan fishing. We got some rooster tails. Now, we could buy one. They're four dollars and 49 cent or buy these right here and they're eight dollars and 49 cent you get six of these so that's a better deal actually you get five i can't count so you get five of these for the price of two we also are going to grab a classic right here we have the uh, little pro cajun spin right here really good color i think that's what we're going to throw too so over here like i said we have the rooster tail we already grabbed a few of those but I've been eyeing this thing. The little H2O Express looking stuff. Little tail spins. I think we're gonna have to try one out. I mean, I think we just start grabbing stuff at this point. I really wanna fill this kit all the way to the brim and see how much stuff we can fit in it. So I'm sure we can fit a lot, but I just wanna grab all kinds of different stuff to test out today. And there's just, there's so many options that I can't really pick. We're just gonna start grabbing. That looks amazing. We're gonna grab a few of those. Oh, this is a bad section for me to be in. Bad, bad time for me to be in this section too. Oh, in the dark. Yes, color looks amazing. 
the micro clutch, all pink color. So we got all this stuff right here. You can just throw that on a little jig head, which we already have a few of those in the truck, so I'm not gonna buy any. But uh, pretty much all these plastics, you can just throw on the back of those things. But I mean, look at some of these colors, man. That is such a crazy color. That's a crazy color, but works really good. That's a pretty crazy color. I mean, just look at all the stuff. They got like bait fish. Those are like goldfish. We got, I mean, there's literally so many options up and down the shelves. Me and this whole entire bluegill section is just not good. Crappy, whatever you want to call it. This is the pan fishing section. It's going down right now. I'm just grabbing. I, don't, I, I probably should stop at this point because I already have lures in the truck that aren't in stores yet that I just want to use. But I've been just grabbing anything that I've seen that just looks good to throw in this kit. We're gonna grab one more thing before I run myself up a bill in Academy. So let's just look for one last bait to grab that looks good. So we got these right here, little sausage heads, kind of cool. I think we might end off on these right here, but I don't know if I wanna grab that color specifically. Let's see, that one looks pretty good. Actually, oh, is that a tiny swim jig? Oh my gosh, I gotta get one. All right, that's our last pick right there. So I think we grabbed pretty much everything that we can fish with that's gonna catch us panfish. We grabbed way too much stuff, I'm sure. This kit is gonna be absolutely loaded because I already have plastics and stuff in the truck. So we're gonna have a ton of fishing lures to pick from today and hopefully we get on them. Let's go ahead, check out, and I'll see you guys at the pond. All right, so we have made it to the pond. We have our Academy bag right here. I'm not gonna lie, I might have went a little overboard in there. I spent like 40 something dollars all on pan fishing baits for our tackle kit over here. So I wasn't really expecting to do that, but we have a bag full of baits that hopefully should catch us some fish today. And we're actually at a new spot today. We got Christian over here, who's actually what? Third cousin? Third cousin. Yeah, we're, we're third cousins. Never even knew that until we pickle were out ball. playing some pickleball. Yeah, if you guys wanna know what I'm doing while I'm not fishing, I'm playing pickleball most likely. And uh, I should be editing these videos, but hey, I never miss a video for you guys, so. But yeah, we met through pickleball. We're uh, third cousins apparently, and we're gonna do some fishing today. And uh, you got some live worms, I got some artificial baits, so we should get on them. And uh, I gotta show you guys what we got, and I gotta actually make the, the tackle kit. So I'm gonna do that real quick, and I'm gonna show you guys what we're working with today. All right, so I just created our tackle kit and I told you guys we had a little secret weapon in the truck. We have a money bag full of the Guggenbaits crappie series. They're not in stores yet. So I was like, I gotta have them in the tackle kit. I just can't not have them because they catch fish, all, all kinds of different fish. So we have our completed kit right here. We're gonna go ahead and crack this thing open. I'm gonna show you guys what we got, what we got from the store. Then we're gonna hop on the boat, go out and catch some fish. All right, so right off the bat on the top, we got a little Guggen crappie pack in there. I like to keep those in the clamps in the clamshell so they don't get all messed up. But right there, as you guys can see, it's uh, it's loaded up, kind of. There's still room for stuff you wanna add, but let me just, I'm gonna go through it real fast so we can actually catch some fish. We got a little tail spin. We got a road runner, which is like a little bladed, runny worm thingy. Looks good, it's gonna catch fish. We got a beetle spin. We got a mini chatterbait. Let me actually show you guys this thing because I'm so interested in this for some reason. Does that not look amazing? Like, I honestly think that looks really good. We got some of our little glow minnows in there, some weird color I bought. We got bobbers, we got hooks, split shots, Guggen crappy series jig heads, which you know, if you guys wanna pick some up, code Logan at GuggenSquad.com. It'll be linked down below in the description. But yeah, that's our kit for the day. And it's in the brand new Guggen terminal boxes. So, like I said, if you wanted to throw some more money, you could definitely fill this thing up. But we also got some live worms back there, so we're definitely gonna catch some fish. But this is technically all you need for some pan fishing. So we're gonna go ahead, get the boat ready, hop on it, and go catch some fish. All right, so right here we have our mini pink clutch that I picked out. I love this bait. It catches literally everything. Oh, did you see that? Uh -oh. I just have one come up and smoke it. Oh my God, I just had one. Oh, he looked big too. Dang, they like this pink lip lift. I 
I couldn't tell you how many we pulled off this time. Oh, I just got smoked. Oh, a baby bass just chased it to the boat. All right, yeah, it's about to go down. Oh, I just got swiped up. I seen it. I seen the fish. They're all over this thing. They just will not fully commit on it. We're on. I don't know what it is, but it feels good. Uh oh. Net. Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, it's a good bass. Oh, geez. Oh gosh, it's about to get intense. Fighting them on a micro rod. I got a net. <laughs> it's a good one. Stay on. He's got the rod dead. It's also a very small rod, but hey. Oh my gosh. What if he snaps? He's not happy. Come on, stay on. Oh, he's barely hooked. <laughs> net that fool. Netty. Yes, net. let's go. Solid. That's a good one. Really good one. Smoke that thing. Look at that little pink lipless, man. That is a chubby little fish. He's been feeding up. That lipless is just too good, though. They love that thing. Such a fun fight on that tiny rod. Honestly, that was so sick. All right. See you, buddy. It's so funny how I build a pan fishing kit and I can't escape the bass. Nope. But if I was bass fishing, it never would catch one. Yeah. It's always how it you goes. Would, that's when you would catch one. Yeah, that's gonna be all over the bluegill and stuff. That's usually how it goes. Oh my god! Vlog. <laughs> like I said, we have this giant kit that I built, and I spent forty dollars on all this stuff. So I feel like we should get our use out of it and tie something else up. So, oh, that was almost bad. About just dropped all of it. Um, we we've, we've caught bass. We've been bit by a lot of bass, but you know we came out here aiming for panfish. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get something small. It's probably still gonna catch a bass, but you know, this little road runner right here, thing just looks too good. So we're gonna throw that. I'm, I'm just doing it. We're throw. hooked up. We're hooked up, finally. It's a little bass. No, it's a shiner. What the? Jeez, that thing's huge. Crazy looking. I've only thrown swim baits like that. <laughs> Never caught one. Put it on the bat, uh, on a bass hook and oh catch a gosh. monster bass. Oh, I'm on. Nice. We're on. I think it's a, it's a bass. Oh, wait. Is it a shiner? <laughs> no, it's a bass, I think. Oh, the knot's holding. Let me not speak too soon here. Let me land this thing. Come on up. Oh, wow. Look at this knot. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's hilarious. There we go. Nice colors on that fish. Fish number two. You look really big? I think so. See you, buddy. Maybe my problem is I'm just casting in all the bassy looking spots. I'm not complaining. Bluegill just decided not to show up today. Oh my god. Yep, yeah, it's bass. I'm about 100% sure because it's fighting so hard. Oh my gosh. Good one, too. Come on. You know, the intended species, obviously. I think the beetle spin, just, it just catches them. It don't even matter. Ooh, that piece of metal is pretty toasty right there. What the? Oh, gosh, he just came off as I got him. He had something in his mouth. We can claim it. He touched the boat. He touched the boat, we can claim it. It's fine. I've seen it. The thing that happened was I sat down and Paul Paul and I it just, just happened. Ooh, I'm on. Really? I don't know what it is. It feels like a bass. Oh my gosh, it is running. Oh, it's a bass. You know, we're just catching everything but panfish, but it's fine. I'm not going to say no to a bass bite. Look at this. Oh, so much fun. So much fun on the ultralight. I mean, I guess it's a crappy rod, so is it really an ultralight? <laughs> I'll flip him. Yes! Look at the pink lipless, man. Just, just getting it done. It's been a hit by a bluegill. I can say that. I know it because I literally saw it. So, I mean, they're in here and they'll eat. We just got to find them. Well, if I was going for bass, I wouldn't have any. But now that we're aiming for panfish, I'm all over them. This is, uh, I think, my third one of the day. I don't even know. Thanks, bud. Oop.
there's something. It's a bass. <laughs> We're all over the bass today. Come on. Get up here. We'll take you. Just getting bit feels pretty good, to be honest. Oh, no way. No way. Do you have one? A bass on the ground. Oh. <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. Oh, he is pulling. <laughs> you, want, is... you want some assistance there? <laughs> oh, yes. Doubled up. Doubled. On the wrong species. Let's go. Look, I'm leaving on like a worm, a natural worm, and I catch a bass and not even a bluegill. So there's, there's obviously something wrong. Yours is a little little bigger. This Fish bump. There we go. See you, buddy. Cool. Talk about the hook set, though. <laughs> Did you wax them? The bluegill got to be somewhere. Damn. They're somewhere. He came off that wall. I don't know where, but they're somewhere. Feel it. They're here. I feel their presence. Uh oh. You got something. Uh oh. Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> they are just spitting everything I got today. Oh my gosh, the way it bit, I thought it was a bluegill. Sat there and just dumped it. Uh oh. We're on again. It's a bluegill. Oh, no way. It's a bluegill. No, it's a, it's it's a micro bass. Very, very it's a micro bass. <laughs> We're very, very small bass. Come on, man. I'm, I'm going to be so excited when we catch a bluegill. Just because it's been I'm such a struggle. Stop. Dude, what a stud. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that thing is sick, man. See you, buddy. Honestly, the little ones are kind of cooler than the big ones. Like, <laughs> that one was like so tiny, but so colorful. Got one. Dang. It's a bass. 100% thing is running oh 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 it's a blue oh, it's a blue get the, I'm net. Getting the net get the net oh my god stay hooked stay hooked oh. let's go it's a, oh, he he popped out. Just popped out. oh, oh my, god. my gosh one, that thing is a slab look at that butte right there Biggins. we've been chasing this all day long what a slab see you buddy first of many hopefully geez he took off that was a fight right there Oh my gosh, no. Uh, little bluegill? Nope. Bass. It's a smaller of a bass. Oh, oh, I'm on the micros today. There we go. Whatever you have, white. I need Sheesh! What a stud. <laughs> I'm just holding really close. Dude, that is a beautiful little fish, though. God, dude. So, so beautiful. See you, buddy. You know a white toad runner? You want anything from the tackle kit? I need something white, I think. I think the white is the color. We haven't tried a rooster tail. That might work. I will take the rooster tail. I mean, look at this kit. We got literally everything in there. That's beautiful. That's what I'm using if you want to throw the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's probably too big, to be honest. And the chatter bag. <laughs> Dude, we're going to go with this white rooster tail. Yeah, the rooster tail might get it done. We're on. I don't know what it is. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm way Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> the bass have been fired up today. Bluegill, eh, not so much. Thanks, little buddy. Another bass. See you. Oh, we're on. Hey, don't speak too soon. Oh, 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 oh. He's a, hey, I'll take a bass any day, though. I'm not even complaining. See you, buddy. I just got bit. Hey. Jeez, dude. The bass bite is insane today. I feel like you probably catch more fish throwing these tiny ones, like bass wise, because it's just like an easy meal for them. See you, bud. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know what that is, but it's. Uh oh, it's a bluegill. Is it? It looked like it. He's fighting really hard. 
Oh my gosh, we are, oh my, we're so unlucky. He took me under the boat, I couldn't control him. I think that was a bat. Fish aren't even gonna know how to act. Oh, it's a God. bat. It's a fish. You need net? Get the net, please. It's a mondo. Come on, buddy. Oh, He's in, let's go, that's a, go. Buddy, that's a giant. That's a freaking that is a monster. Oh, I'm on, oh, oh. No. oh. Gosh, I saw that thing coming back at me. I was terrified. Oh, you're dead. Oh, oh, oh it's a big in. I bet it's a bass. Oh, yep. No, wait. Oh, it's a bluegill. Oh, oh. No, I'm going to flip this bad boy. Oh, I just boink. No, wait. Is it a, I can't tell. It's a bluegill. <laughs> there we go. Dude, that thing's crazy. See ya. All right, well, right there, we fished with our pan fishing tackle box. We actually caught some pan fish. It was a little slow, but uh, we actually caught some bass, too. I just can't escape them. They just know I was here, so they had to bite my lures. I just watched a blow up over there, and I mean, it was, you see that? I've seen two or three since we've been standing here. Once we got back, it stopped being windy, and just the conditions are perfect. But while we were out there, it was a little rough, but we did find fish. We caught some. I spent 40 something dollars on a little sick tackle kit that I'm definitely gonna have to use again because I think I only used like three or four things out of it. So I still had some stuff left over. We didn't even use the secret Guggen baits that were tied up. I'm getting destroyed by a mosquito right now. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to pull that thing back out. But uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun out here. We caught fish. It was a good time. Thanks for the invite. Yes, sir. And uh, maybe, maybe if we come out again or next time we go, we just crank a big one or something or who knows. But if you guys enjoyed this or if you guys want to see more some pan fishing stuff or some creek fishing, let me know down below in the comment section. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay fishing.